three is it to to kind of think I know what's coming. Notre Dame wasn't really disguising a lot of it, and, and still not be able to stop it. Yeah, uh, it it was tough, you know. You try to respond, and you really do all you can. But at the end of the day, they just, they were just a better team, and uh, so we just gotta we gotta take this loss, watch the film, study it, see what we did wrong, and just move on to the next game, move on to Louisville, and uh, just but you know it it does hurt, but we can't dwell on too much. Just gotta watch the film, just get ready for the next game. Do you feel like it was more just guys getting knocked out of gaps, wrong run fits, execution type things, or? More what Notre Dame was doing. I think it was it was really more on us. We got to be more disciplined with our gaps. Uh, no one needs to be a superhero. I'm not talking about anyone in general. Just just do your job, and the plays will make themselves. Um, but we just got to be more disciplined as a defense. Stay in our gaps, and, um, and then we'll stop them. And we just we weren't doing that, so we just got to move on. How, how hard is it to just get physically dominated to the point where everybody in the stadium? Yeah, it's tough. Um, it's really, you know, during the game, you try to make adjustments, and uh, at the end, as I said, at the end of the day, they're just better, the better team. So, uh, again, we just got to watch the film, uh, get better, and um, it hurts. But, you know, it's nothing we can do about it now. Just learn from our mistakes, move on to the next opponent, which is Louisville, and just, you know, fix some mistakes and translate it to the next game and just dominate Louisville and dominate the opponents that we're going to be playing up next. Barrett, do you think you guys, as much as it hurts now, do you think you guys can get back in that college football playoff conversation if you do your job and finish strong? Of course, and we're never losing faith. You know, we know what our goals are as a team. So that's that's always going to be the end goal. So this, this loss that we just took, we're not – it's no demoralization, like, throughout the team. We're still focused. We still know we, what all we can accomplish. All of our goals are still on the table, and you never know what can happen in the whole, like throughout the whole college football. So we're just gonna keep. We're just gonna go to work, and whatever happens, happens. But we're we're gonna keep fighting as a team and just finish as strong as we can. What have you seen out of Louisville's offense? Obviously, you know Cunningham's a, a dynamic player. What What do you know about him, and what have you seen from their offense so far? For sure, they have a lot of athletes on the team. They have a good old line, good backs. Obviously, Malik Cunningham's a very dynamic, athletic quarterback. Probably one of the most, if not the most, uh, most athletic that we're going to see. So again, we just got to be disciplined in our run fits, uh, in our in our gaps. Um, don't try to do too much. Just do your job, and everything will fall into place. But um, you know, they're they're going to run the ball early downs. They're going to take shots. So if we just do our job and just play Clemson defense, and we'll. We'll handle business. Yes, how disappointing is it that literally just guys just have to do what you're told to do and just do your job and that just happens? I guess why do you think that happens? Uh, I mean that's that's tough. You know, they they just they just dominated us. They were the better team that day. Um, I tip my hats in Notre Dame. You know, they're a well coached, historic, great program and. They they had us they had us all had it up uh, on Saturday, so I tip my hat to them. They had a great plan for us, and we just we at the end of the day we couldn't stop it. So you know I tip my hat to them. We have to get better, and we have to just watch the film, move on, and just move on to Louisville, and we will do that. As this linebacking core has sort of <coughs> taken some lumps this year, first year starters in the current position, does it give you a greater appreciation of, of like scouts being expected to have that? Institutional knowledge built up over years and years of, of knowing exactly where to be and precision and things like that in, uh, uh, in the area you're talking about, like in run fits and stuff. Yeah, so having them was, you know, they made everything so much easier and they, they were students of the game. So, you know, when I was coming in, they helped me a lot with that. And I think we're just trying to sort of pick up where they left off, just being students of the game like that, kind of knowing what's happening before it even happens. So, um, of course, we're still working every day to get better and strive to just, you know, keep being students of the game, um, keep learning what offenses are going to do. So we kind of know what to expect, just like they would, just like Skalski and Balin would. But, you know, they, they taught us a lot. So we're just trying to 
we're just trying to learn from them and pick up where they left off, especially being students of the game like that. This is another quarterback that you know, let him out of the pocket. If he does, he can take it. What kind of challenge is this each year? You definitely have to be on your toes every single play, know where he is, uh, make sure if it's like an option play that he for sure gives the ball because if he pulls it, you know, he can make a play with his feet. So it's just going to take a lot of discipline from the defense, uh, good eyes, good technique, and just being smart. But uh, really, good eyes is the main thing, knowing who has the ball and being sure of that. Because if he pulls it, he can make a big play, and he can, he can take it to the house. So as long as we just stay on our P's and Q's, we, we should be fine. Handle them. I think it's going to be as difficult as you make it. You know, if you take that game as a lesson learned just, and just take it on the chin, then, you know, it shouldn't, it's never as good as it seems, never as bad as it seems. Of course, that was, that was bad. But, you know, if, you know, you take it as a lesson, you move on, and, you know, you just try to correct those mistakes and just, you know, apply them to the next game. So, yeah, I watched the film. Yeah, it wasn't pretty, but, you know, it's nothing we can do about it now. Just try to move on and just not make the mistakes in the next few games. Uh, I just I just rest <laughs> really. Uh, sometimes I just take my mind off of football. I just play video games. I'll do anything. Just take my mind off of football. But when the time comes, I, I know when to lock in and just really focus on what's to come, what opponents we're facing. But uh, I, it can't be all ball all, all day. You have to let your mind reset and let your mind heal from whatever just happened. So I've just I've rested. But now I'm attacking Louisville. I watched the game. I'm. You know, we're putting that to bed soon. So I'm just, I'm on Louisville now, though. Does that, does that make you this afternoon when you finally get put on the pads and home again and walk out on the practice field that it's finally done and, and now you're fully invested in, in another week? Is that, is that helpful? Is it healing to just say, okay, that's done now? Mm -hmm. Especially after film, you know, film is going to be tough because we're going to watch, we're going to watch some of the game. We're going to see the mistakes. So, That'll be tough, but shoot, once we step on the practice field, like it's go time. You gotta just flip the switch, just know that we're on to the next opponent, and um, there's nothing we can do about the last game, but just move on and try not to make those mistakes again. So, you know, once we step on the practice field, we just gotta go and just attack Louisville, and that's that's all we can do at this time. Eric, did you, can you guys draw on the fact that, I don't know, two years ago you lost at Notre Dame and then came back, beat them in the ACC title game. Last year, four and three, finished with six wins. Can you draw on some of the resiliency you guys have shown in the past? Yeah, we're definitely we – know, we know the feeling that it is losing when we don't like that feeling. And um, last year's team, we have a greater appreciation for all that it takes to win. And no matter who you're playing in college football, winning is hard. And that's, that's playing teams at the bottom, teams at the top. Winning is hard to do. It's so much mentally, physically, emotionally that goes into the game of football. So, you know, last year's team, we, are, we, we learned how to persevere. We learned how to get through all the adversity. So just carrying that over to this year, this, this loss, it hurts, yeah. But, you know, we're not, you know, we're just going to move on. And we know what it takes to be great. We're just going to be resilient, just move on to the next opponent. But, no, last year's team definitely, definitely showed us all that it takes to go into winning for sure. Uh, I play Madden, 2K, Fortnite. Call. I play everything. I play everything, really. Uh, I don't discriminate with video games. Just I'll play anything. <laughs> yeah. Any questions for Barrett from Zoom? I think at the end of the day, they they just dominated us. Uh, I don't think they did anything um, too spectacular to win the game. I think they just dominated us, and we can't allow that to happen going against any opponent. So I think that's on us as a as a defense. We just got to step up to the plate and just you know put our big boy pants on and just like fight back. And we at the end of the day, we didn't do that. So I don't. Uh, I, again, I tip my hat to Notre Dame. They played a great game. They had a great um, plan for us. But we just have to play better as a defense, and we didn't do that. Hey, Barrett. This is Anna Adams with Clemson 24-7. Um, just mentioned getting dominated. I know there's obviously a feeling of disappointment among the defense, but is, is there also a feeling maybe of anger in that it wasn't like you got beat schematically, but it, like you said, it was more of a physical domination. 
Yeah, I think if you're not angry about what happened last game, then you shouldn't be playing the sport. You know that it it was it was embarrassing, honestly, and just to line up and not you know essentially be able to do anything about the run game. Uh, so there's definitely a lot of anger. So we just got to turn that pain into passion and just you know just use that as fuel for the next game and just move on, correct the mistakes, and just uh, prepare for Louisville. Thank you, Barry. Thank you. Thank you all.